we're gonna do this interview with your helmet on? <laughs> yeah, either that or I show you my ponytail. Let's do the helmet. <laughs> it's fitting. It's, it does fit nicely, doesn't it? Tell me about your e-bike. You've had it half a year now. I've had it since October. I had a little break on it about four months because I uh, couldn't ride it with a broken wrist. So now I'm back at it. Now I'm trying to get ready to go on some longer rides. So today was 30 miles. That equals what I've done for distance, but I think they're going to be longer days than that in <laughs> Ragbri. So we'll see. What's what's Ragbri? Ragbri is the ride across Iowa that we're going to go do in three weeks. So um, those are going to be 40 to 80 mile days, but there'll be a lot of beer and pie in between those miles. Would you have ever considered doing something like this? Oh, not at unless all. Unless you had an electric bike. Yeah, not at all. Would never have considered it. I mean, the best thing about this is it's kind of leveled the playing field so that I have the opportunity to go do these kind of things. So um, that's pretty neat. What have been the other positives of having this electric bike? Hmm, well, uh, the positives of not using my car. I will often take it um, to the grocery store, to the gym. I rode it to your house last night in the rain, so that was good. So yeah, I mean, yesterday I never took my car out of the garage. I did everything on my bike. So that's a pretty, that's pretty big improvement. When you first got your electric bike, you were worried about your balance. You hadn't ridden a bike all that much. You were worried about crashing. Have you gotten better at all that? Yeah, I'm still worried about all that, but I've gotten a little bit better at all that. <laughs> So, how, do you feel stronger? Do you feel like your core is stronger? Your oh, balance? I definitely, yeah. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out how to turn. Um, you know, gravel makes me a little worried that I'll skid out. Like, we went through a lot of mud puddles today, and, you know, it gets a little slippery. So, no, I, I, one thing I've learned is if I fall, I break. And so I definitely don't want to fall. So that does concern me when you're going that fast because I've gotten that thing up to, you know, 16 to 20 miles an hour so yeah watch out I know you know what to do mom ole 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 even mom loves the ole right mama life is better with a little ole so there are some people out there who are kind of scared of e-bikes that they'll go too fast that they don't have control and you had some of these same fears. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel now? What would you say to those people? Well, I, I tried a few bikes that when I got on them, they surged and that made me a little uncomfortable. Um, but my priority bike is just so smooth. It never feels like that. And so I would tell anybody who's afraid of it, you know, get on them, try them out, um, but make sure you pick a smooth one. Uh, you were riding gravel all day today. How does the bike handle on dirt? Oh, the, it's a great, bike on dirt I think I mean I really didn't feel like I couldn't do anything today on the bike it, it's pretty amazing that you can just take this bike everywhere it's so versatile What about your friends? Are you riding with your friends more now? Yep, yep. Like I say, it's leveled the playing field. So today we had a couple of e-bikers, but we had a couple of um, regular cyclists, as they call them, and um, we could all stay together. So that's that's pretty cool. And then on the hills, we got the e-bikers had a little bit of a boost going up the hills. So. My mom's about to pass me on a hill. Look at her. There she goes. That's what she does. I mean, there was one hill I went up that I really had to work hard. So it's not like I'm not getting a workout. Um, I'm still having to pedal um, that bike. And depending on how much you turn it up, and sometimes it doesn't even matter how much you turn it up, you gotta really pedal. How was that hill? Well, even though I had some assist, I had to work at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a free for all. Nope. How are you? It was good, I did it in eco though. I feel my legs are getting stronger, yeah. You know, e-bikes don't just like, e-bikes don't just go zip, you got to work them. And yeah. you have different things. So I was in my lowest and I felt it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, just socially, not, you're like, you do things you never did before with friends. You're yeah. riding bikes now. Yeah, I know. It's been, um, yeah. I mean, before it was just hiking. You know, I think I said this before is that I would see maybe four to six miles a day. Now I can see 30 miles a day of absolute beauty in this area and um, I couldn't do that before. 
Talk about exploring new places in Boulder. Yeah, today we went from Boulder to Longmont on the Lobo Trail, and I'd never been on any of those trails ever before. I had no idea that our eastern plains could be so shaded and woody and, and beautiful. Went through, you know, cornfields and went through streams and lakes and housing areas, and it's, it's pretty nice. And physically, how does, your, does your body feel any different riding a bike this much? Um, probably it does. I mean, I do work out, but I feel like my legs are getting stronger and stronger. Look at this bull snake. Look how big this guy is. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're one of the biggest ones I've ever seen here. Have a lovely day. Fun fact, I had lots of pet snakes as a kid. I love reptiles. And what about the fun factor? You, you know, you probably, you've been riding a bike regularly since you were a little girl, probably. Yeah. Uh, how much fun is this added this to your life? This is pretty fun. I mean, I could actually go out and ride with you today. I mean, I've got like the best cyclist in the world in my family, and I could never go and enjoy that with you. So that's pretty cool. Out in nature with mom. Yep. Pretty good deal out here. Having a nice day. You know, you've had this bike not even a year. What do you, what do you hope to continue doing with this thing? Um, and get more and more comfortable on it and spend more and more time on it. So, yeah, and I've introduced a lot of people to this bike and everybody is just like, oh my God, this is so cool. I want one too, I want one too. So hopefully e-bikes really pick up in the United States and do make a difference in cutting back on carbon emissions. So you think all of your friends should get e-bikes so you can start a big oh, gang? I think everybody should have an e-bike. It makes such a difference. I mean, it just, if you're not a cyclist, it just enables everybody to go and experience the joy of being outside on a bicycle again. All right, Mom, you can take your helmet off okay. now. Okay, let's take this off. <laughs> yeah, and it was a little warm, a little sweaty today, so there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Donna Jobert, Mama Doozer, is becoming a cycling enthusiast thanks to her electric bike, yep. which is pretty cool. Yeah. We can keep on riding, keep on going on adventures, mm -hmm. doing good stuff. And uh, yeah, high five. Boom. Thanks. Thanks, Priority and Ryan. Priority and Ryan. <laughs> and thank all of you for watching and subscribing. Please tell all your friends and your weird uncles about my channel. Let's build this thing up, Team Doozer. Yeah. See you next time.